Hi, I'm Rob from Mixed Garage. In this video, we're going to take a look at car wind deflectors. We stock a huge range of wind deflectors for pretty much all makes of car, van, and 4x4 here at Mixed Garage. They're a, a really good product. They allow the um, air to circulate uh, within the, the cockpit of the car while still keeping a, an acceptable uh, level of wind noise inside the car as well. Um, they're very easy to fit, but we're going to show you some tips and tricks along the way. The wind deflectors are supplied as a pair for the front two windows. When you first take them out of the box, you might think that the deflectors are scratched, but the, uh, they come with a, a, a clear plastic film attached to the, the deflector to protect them in transit. You just peel that off and the deflector underneath will be in perfect condition. Okay, so let's get started fitting the wind deflectors. The first thing to do is lower the window down to the very bottom then offer the wind deflectors up to the car door to make sure that they're the correct size for your car. The next thing we want to do is to check that there's no debris in the window channel where the deflectors are going to fit. So take a small screwdriver and just run it along the channel to make sure there's no build up of moss or anything like that inside the channel. Another trick when fitting wind deflectors is to use a product like Gummy Fledge. Um, over time the rubber seals on the car door can become hard and perished and Gummy Fledge is a product that conditions the rubber on the car and softens it up. So you just apply it to the, the seals on the door, leave it for a short while and it softens up the rubber, makes fitting the deflectors a lot easier. Now we're ready to fit the wind deflectors to the car. The, they fit into the, the window channel and you put the front edge into the channel first and then the back and then push in the rest of the deflector along the window channel and it's as simple as that. Most of our wind deflectors are supplied with uh, additional clips to secure the deflectors in place. They're not needed on every car. Um, in this instance the deflector is still a little bit loose so we will fit them. These are the clips in question. They uh, usually get about six in a packet. They come in two types, plastic or metal. These are the plastic types. They have a smooth side and a side with barbs on it. The clips fit smooth side facing outwards and they slot up inside the wind deflector and you push them into place with a screwdriver. They should be positioned equally along the, the top edge of the door frame. Put the first one in the top corner here but, but keep it a, an inch or two uh, away from the actual corner of the, the door frame. Second one in the middle here somewhere and then the third one down at the front. Again an inch or two away from the corner, somewhere around here. Now we're just fitting a second clip here in the middle of the deflector to, to keep it secure. It was a little bit loose still with just the one clip. So again smooth side out, push it up into the window channel and push it home with a screwdriver until it's fully seated into the channel. Now that's completely secure and I don't think we're even going to need a clip in the front. No, that's fine. So that's that deflector is held in place with just the two clips there perfectly. Now we have the deflectors in place with all the clips holding them in, they're perfectly fitted. We can raise the window for the first time. Now that's worked perfectly. What we often find is that when the uh, window uh, tries to close with the deflector in position, the anti-trap mechanism which stops you from trapping your fingers between the window and the door frame will bounce the window glass straight back down again. The way to counteract this is to get somebody to help you sit inside the car and operate the window while you help the window up um, into position. Once the window is up to its uh, closed position, leave it there closed for a period of 24 hours. The rubber uh, seals around the uh, deflector and around the door will mould into shape around the deflector and the next time you go to open and close the window it'll work perfectly. So we fitted the wind deflectors there in maybe five or ten minutes, it'll probably take in total. Um, just to recap a couple of points, the wind deflectors come as a front pair only, we don't sell the rears. They're manufactured by G3 Italy. Um, they, they look quite dark on the car here, but when they're outside, um, they're actually really quite light smoked grey. They're a really good quality set of deflectors, and a nice thing about them is that they're very, very flexible, not brittle, so it's very difficult to break them or crack them. Um, they come with clips, pretty much all of them, not all, but most do. You don't need, as I mentioned, uh, always need the clips. 
Uh, the clips come in a plastic bag, normally six. They will be inside the box. You can often be mistaken into thinking that they're not there. They just they sometimes do get stuck inside the box. Um, they're available for nationwide delivery uh, within two working days.